What's up everybody? It's a boy meme here. I've got some some little clips in my pocket, some clothespins. Uh, I would have gotten wooden clothespins, but I learned that wooden clothespins like break and they uh, rot and they're kind of bad. So um, I looked into these uh, metal clothespins and they're entirely unibody. It's just one piece of wire, you know, that's kind of folded up. And, uh, you know, the thing that sucks about metal is that it's sort of permanently bendable. That's what makes something like plastic better than metal because uh, it's like the cartilage in your ear, you know? Like no matter what, like no matter how long you hold it, it goes back, right? That's the case for a lot of plastic. Uh, for metal, you know, it's like your nose, you know, you go like this. Your nose kind of, well, if you, do, if you do this for long enough, your nose stays like that for a minute. Um, I, just made, I just made up that analogy on the fly. Okay, but I'm incredible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, pinball's going away, I'm happy about that. Um, and yeah, the nice thing about these is that they're entirely unibody, they'll last forever, um, unless I somehow bend every single one of them. Um, the only thing that sucks is that they they grip onto the... I sort of have sort of a worst case scenario with my hand drying situation. Uh, not only is it on nylon paracord, right, which is because I have 250 feet of nylon paracord and my well, I have 500 feet of nylon paracord in my closet, but I have 250 feet of white nylon paracord. Um, so not only do I have that, but I also use these metal clothespins. And, uh, you know, the thing that sucks is that um, you can't just, you can't have the clothespin sort of naturally hook onto the um, rope uh, and then have the shirt. Like, you can't... Hold on. Like, you can't have the shirt hanging on and then the clothespin uh, and then the rope through here because it'll just slip and slide, right? And then your shirts will be all crumpled up because all the, like, let's say you have two, two clothespins, you know, they'll just like slide together, right? Um, so the thing you have to do, sadly, is you sort of have to grip the shirt. You have to pull the shirt up and grip it along with the rope so then it doesn't move. And um, the thing that sucks about that is that if you use three clothespins, you can't really see it here. You, yeah, okay, you can't, you can't really see it here because I use five clothespins and this is to prevent this, but if you use three clothespins, you can sort of see a, a peak, well, I guess a dip here and here because you hold it up here and then there's a middle one, right? And if you do two, it's, maybe it's less obvious if you do two because it's like to the sides of your body, but I'm actually not sure. Um, what else? Um, work today was, okay, okay. So, okay, I wake up at, um, I have my alarm set for 4.59, Third, second alarm at 4.50, third alarm at 4.51. I pressed snooze on all three of those on my watch this morning, and I woke up at five. And that's sort of evil nightmare mode, because, um, you know, despite having only 10 minutes less of time, uh, I have, it feels like I have an hour less of time. It, it feels like I woke up like a minute before I have work, you know, and I have to rush, you know, and even, if, even when I do rush, and maybe this is because rushing actually takes up more time than doing it normally, um, it seems like I have way less time, right? Um, so, you know, I had a rush this morning, it was kind of horrible, but I got to work and, um, you know, turns out that we're making like a, like a bomb. <laughs> we're not making a bomb, uh, for the record. Uh, we're making, God, now, now, now with that comment, I sort of infected the rest of this, this sentence. I shouldn't scratch my forehead. Um, we're, ma we're making like a, like a pressure thing for like some sort of competition for like a dam? I, I, you know, I don't know what's happening, um, but I know that we are going to be getting a bunch of metal um, and we're, we need a space for the metal. And the space for the metal is going to have to be where I was organizing those drawers that I was talking about. And I've been organizing those drawers for like the past like three weeks straight. There's an entire lab's worth of stuff in those drawers. Um, and it sucks because, you know, I did about 70% of it and then the rest, like, the more you work on the drawers, it, the amount of time it takes to work on it goes up exponentially um, because it becomes stuff that you just don't know about. Like, I don't know anything about, now I do, I don't know anything about like, uh, like, 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 like male, like MIP, I think that's, MIP stands for, hold on. I'm looking up what does MIP stand for, plumbing. Male iron pipe. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Um, so apparently MIP stands for male iron pipe, which is weird because all of our fittings are brass. I don't know. Um, but there are a whole bunch of these like quarter inch MIP to like quarter inch ID adapters. You know, at, at, at the beginning I didn't even know that. So I have to ask these questions and I have to do all these things and it ends up taking a whole bunch of time. So these drawers were only really like 70% done. I did most of this stuff. Uh, the fasteners are mostly organized, the bolts and nuts and uh, lock nuts and, and, and wing nuts and uh, what? Um, lock washers and nylock nuts are all organized. Um, and then in the back I sort of quickly jerry-rigged a sort of solution for like organizing the brass fittings. Uh, ideally I would organize them with like proper terminology. I would be like quarter inch MIP X quarter inch ID adapter, you know, but that instead I just said, you know, uh, quarter inch uh, brass hose adapter because we only really use two types of hoses. So you could just open up both drawers and you can see all of the, you, you can see all the adapters, you know, so you don't have to put it on the drawers. I just like to, uh, but I didn't, I didn't really have time. Uh, about halfway through the day, my boss was like, okay, we, we got to speed this up, you know, uh, cause you know, tomorrow we have a whole bunch of metal coming in and you know, it has to be done by the end of the day. So, um, yeah. So, uh, the thing we basically started doing is, uh, he told me about this little algorithm I can run in my head, which is basically like, if the, if the amount of object that you see in a drawer is worth less than the amount you get paid, uh, to organize it, then just throw it out because it's not worth organizing this stuff that you, you know, you can buy a thousand of for, you know, like, like, like $50, you know? Um, and you know, I'm not going to pay $50 an hour, but you know, you divide that down, you check the margins. The only thing that really, really super matters is like the brass fittings because those actually cost a lot of money. Um, I just got my July statements from Cash App. I don't use Cash App. Um, Maybe I do use Cash App. I don't know. Do I use Cash App? I can't use Zelle because I'm not 18, but I can use Cash App. I don't know why the fuck I use Cash App. Anyway, um, I'm sorry. That's my that's my parent show in the background. They're watching Star Trek. I didn't know there was a musical number in Star Trek. It's the new one. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you know what was I saying? Um. Yeah, so, so I did that, and um, yeah, it, it, it generally went pretty well. Um, we ended up throwing some stuff away that doesn't matter, it's just like nails, <laughs> and we don't use nails in the lab. I don't even know how they got there. Um, well, he doesn't even know how they got there. It's from the other people before us who were in the lab. Um, and then we're gonna start going through the PPE closet next, because um, there's some gloves that don't match, uh, which is fine. It's just annoying when you don't have matching gloves, because you know, your right hand feels different from your left hand, and you know, it's, it's like having two different size hands, you know, you can't. It's, it's hard to do hand-eye coordination and stuff like that. Um, but, um, what else? Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, then about halfway through just throwing stuff away, I went and had lunch and um, I had a taco salad, which I think I talked about yesterday. I uh, had a taco salad and that was, it was very large. <laughs> it was a big salad, uh, which is why I actually had a smaller dinner. I'll talk about that later. Um, I had a really big salad, um, lots of lettuce. I wish there was a little less lettuce, um, but otherwise it was it was it was great, you know. Um, yeah. Um, so I had my my lunch, and uh, you know that was good. Uh, and then I you know I got back to it, and um, I got around to it. I, I have a round to it somewhere, but I don't know. Um, This is the longest musical number of all time, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so once we were, uh, we, we basically finished it, right? And we put the, uh, the set of drawer, we put all the stuff that wasn't worth the time to organize, but probably needed to be organized uh, in just into buckets. And we put those buckets at the bottom shelf of the set of drawers, because at the bottom, there's sort of a shelf instead of drawers and you could just put buckets of stuff there. Um, previously, it was just a whole bunch, it was a dusty, mess you know it was just a bunch of screws and a bunch of boxes of, for like redheads and just like weird stuff um and uh you know now it's a, a little at least a little organized in like buckets um anyway so we moved that into, sh into the shop where it's supposed to be and uh you know we removed my table and you know 
pretty good. And we certainly have enough space for the metal tomorrow. Um, I also learned about how we're gonna have to, next week I'm on vacation because my boss is on vacation, but the week after uh, we're gonna be doing some back breaking labor <laughs> for real. Uh, in my situation more because I'm taller I'm taller than the than the guy who I work with. Um, but yeah, it sucks because uh, you know we build models very temporarily and then people look at them and then we have to disassemble them so we can build the next model right as soon as possible. I say we, it's him. I'm not a carpenter, you know. I, I you know I don't know anything. But um, the thing that we have to do is um, we're we have this big we have like just just like just an unimaginable amount of gallons of water sort of in this sump and uh, we're gonna have to drain the sump and then we're gonna have to shovel a whole bunch of like salt sediment and stuff from stuff that's not supposed to be in the water i'm pretty sure but there's a whole bunch of like build up because the sump's been there for a while so we're gonna have to shovel this stinky build up from like this thing like like it's like it's like this and the sump is like this tall so i have to be like this and shoveling it and you also can't go up too high or else you'll bump your head so I'll be shoveling in the buckets it'll really suck um but you know hard work um builds character so you know that, that makes it worth it um and yeah once we clean out the sump we'll have to do some other stuff that i forgot about um you know later in the day i had to move some pipe um from the disassembled model, there was some piping uh, and we just put it on the floor, but um, you have to put the stuff that's like a flow meter into like this specialty closet. Um, and then you just bring the pipe out to this cage. It, was, it, was, it wasn't it was it was hard, like the pipes are light, it's like PVC, but um, it was pretty hot. Um, so it sucked having to go outside and having to move these black trash bags full of bucket lids. And they're hot because it was, it was hot outside and it was, the trash bags are black, you know, so move them to the corner and put this PVC pipe and put it there. Um, you know, I'm not too mad about it because, uh, um, you know, it, you know, it's good work and I'm, lear I'm learning a lot, you know, um, like I, I, there's, um, oh, I forgot what it was called, but it's basically like a manual forklift. Um, it's like these two forks and it's on a little cart and you go like, and it like hydraulically pushes up the forks so then you can like move around pallets. Like I learned how to use that and you know, I'm never gonna forget how to use it because it's very simple. But if I hadn't learned, I would have never known. And I'll probably run into a situation where I have to use that again. Man, this video is 13 minutes. <sighs> okay, so I got home. My parents went to the store. While they went to the store, I exercised. Um, yeah, so I walked for 35 minutes. I burned 341 calories. My average heart rate was 131 and walked two miles. So it was from 405 to 441. Um, and then once my parents got back, we went to Five Guys. A uh, Five Guys just very recently opened right near us. So, um, went to Five Guys. It was honestly kind of bad. Uh, the burger patty, like the, the buns were like, if the buns were like the size of my palm, which they weren't, this is a little larger than it was. But if the buns were the size of my palm, the patties were like, like this size they, they were like really small um for the size of the bun we don't know what happened uh luckily our bacon on my cheeseburger so it was kind of like a blt when the uh meat inevitably split out near the end but it was it was kind of strange um we got the cajun fries which are great at five guys because um they're like if you ever had the curly fries at arby's uh they're just like normal fries except they taste like the curly fries at arby's which you know in my opinion are some of the best fries you can get from fast food um and uh yeah, um, they also have, so they, I don't know if they have this in Europe, um, because I know I have some European viewers, but, yeah, they have these, um, they have these machines called Coca-Cola Freestyle, which is basically, yeah, which is basically this, like, like, soda machine except you can touch on a touch screen and let's say you press like coke there are like 10 different options of coke you press coke zero there are like 10 different options of coke zero you press like like zero sugar cream soda and i didn't even know that existed and then there are like four different flavors of zero sugar cream soda like it's really crazy um and i'm used to these you know uh i'm used to these right um 
but it's actually really strange because like with this button you know notice how the button's not a screen but for some reason at this five guys they have these new fancy ones uh that have screens for the buttons like they have screens that you press and it's like a touch screen and it's like it's like touch here to to make the soda go you know or whatever um and you touch there and there's like a little bit of a delay um <laughs> It's strange. Uh, it makes me understand why people want analog buttons in like Teslas, because <laughs> you can't. You, it's you're not pressing anything. You're just tapping a screen, you know. And you tap screens all the time, so you kind of just, you know, uh, tapping your screen is normally sort of the 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 vehicle of an interaction. You know, you, you tap your screen to do something on a screen. You don't tap a screen to do something physically, like. I, you know, when does that happen? You know, so it's very strange when you're when you're doing this on this Coca-Cola freestyle machine and you're pressing this button and there's like some delay and it's really strange and you get soda all over your hand. I, I also happened to my dad. We both had to go to the bathroom and wash our hands. Um, but yeah, I'm making this Five Guys sound horrible. It was good food. Like it tasted good. Um, Five Guys is really overpriced, um, especially when there's McDonald's right down the road. You can get a quarter pounder. Mm, like it's like I don't know. I don't know. I like Five Guys. I think I think they have good food there. Um, and yeah, it also took a really long time. Okay, you know, I love Five Guys, but it wasn't the best first experience. But also, next time I go, it'll probably be really good. It was, it, it was fine. Like the wait was good. Uh, the wait was a long time, but the food the food was tasty, and I liked the food, and it was really good for Five Guys. It was like it was tasty. Um, and. Yeah, then I went home and I thought about buying Apple stock. My dad told me about it. Um, my, my uh, apparently they released their earnings and iPhone sales are like mid. Uh, and so their stock went pretty down, pretty down today. Uh, but then I looked at their like one year stock price and they're actually at an all time high. And I don't know if that's because of like the Vision Pro or cause, or, I don't know if that's because of the Vision Pro or what. Um, and I was like, man, Apple stock's really high. And honestly, buying individual stocks is kind of a bad idea uh, from everywhere that I've heard, at least online. Uh, you should just buy like an index fund in the S&P 500, you know, so then you have like a cushion of the top 500 companies if like Apple goes down, for example. Um, and the only stocks I've, I've ever gained money on are my um, S&P 500 uh, index, index fund that I invest in and um, my, my S&P 500. The, you know the the company I I invest the company I invest with. I've I've only made money on S and P five hundred and Apple. Um, and I think I think Apple might be a fluke. Uh, this is just my gut talking, but I maybe there's like a tech bubble or something. Like it's it's you know other companies exist. It's strange that the top like like top ten companies by market cap like maybe it's just because we live in like a digital age right but you look at the top companies right it's apple microsoft amazon google uh, meta nvidia uh visa is kind of a technology company um and then it's like tesla you know and <sighs> i don't know i'm maybe it's not tesla anymore this is an old article but i don't know i feel like when the top companies in the world are technology companies and there's nothing else it's just strange to me i like i feel i feel like there there's something i feel like there's something weird happening but that's just my gut talking i don't know maybe it's bad to invest in tech not financial advice but it just it gives that vibe you know i'd, I'd much rather invest in the s p 500 um but god yeah and i tried investing in in rivian and i I lost like $30 in that. Um, I got one share, but, um, one sec. My mom came in and gave me this, this water. I actually have, this one's my name on. Um, I got this water bottle here, which is the water bottle I bring to work and also the one I brought to school. And then I have this identical one, uh, that I have at home. And the reason why is because, um, I don't drink enough water if I'm not drinking out of a 40 ounce water bottle because all the times in which I drink water and the amount of water that I drink is all sort of under the assumption that there's this amount of water. Um, and if there's not this amount of water, I end up drinking way too much water or way too little water. Uh, so I'm sort of, I'm sort of trapped in the 40 ounce water bottle lifestyle. And I'm thinking about buying a backpack from this company called Air San Francisco. Um, 
and I'm kind of spooked because I don't know if their water bottle holders are gonna are gonna fit this water bottle. So I guess we'll see. My oh my my OBS paused, but I think we're good now. Um, yeah. So I, I didn't buy Apple stock um, because I know, it's just spooky. It's spooky to me, and I'd much rather invest in the S and P 500. And when I turn 18, I'm gonna be getting a Roth IRA. I should put a lot of money into that, you know, instead of putting it into like like random stocks. Um, so. I don't, I don't know. I, I also need to buy some gold. I need to diversify my portfolio because you look at my if you look at my portfolio right now. It's like seven companies and they're all like tech. A majority of my money is held in the S and P five hundred though. What am I talking? I'm I'm a crazy person. <laughs> Why am I talking about my 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 portfolio on my YouTube? Channel. Like I'm a like I'm like I'm. Oh, what's his name? Iced Coffee Hour. What's his name? Graham Stephan. I'm not Graham Stephan, right? So I don't know. Uh, yeah. Okay. I think that's it. All right. Um, yeah. See you, dude.